this video is unlike any video that I have ever made on my channel and as I speak I'm literally struggling as to how to start and where to start but it was on 12th May that I came across a post on social media and the post reads little angel needs blood and it further says that she's diagnosed with leukemia that is blood cancer I DM the page admin asking if I have to go to Kohima to donate my blood to which the page admin responded to me saying yes. On my way to Kohima, I tried to reach them multiple times through the number that was provided on social media but the call was not going through. However, on reaching, uh, I was lucky enough that the call went through. Let's go. She is in the ICU, so we have to go there. The family was so kind enough to let me meet her in person. And as I met her, I just couldn't hold back my tears. I mean, I always thought I am a strong woman. I always thought, you know, that I am strong emotionally, but seeing someone at such a tender age uh, being diagnosed with leukemia was something that uh, i just couldn't bear and as i speak uh, since i've seen her in person it's just so difficult for me uh, to not feel her pain oh i'm sorry like i said i always thought i was strong emotionally but my emotion just took the better of me and it was a moment where I realized how precious our life is and it was a hard moment. Well, I followed all the protocols to donate blood. Um, which includes uh, checking of weight, uh, blood pressure, your temperature, taking out blood samples. And everything was going well until my blood sample came out. And it was such a shocker for me because my blood sample came out as B positive. All these years, whenever I go for blood tests, every time it came out all positive and that was the reason why i went all the way from mazipima to kohima to donate for her and now suddenly my blood sample reads i'm b positive so i had this conversation with the nurses if they can take my blood and exchange it with o positive but this is what they told me and by the way i'm not a medical student please correct me if um, the information that I'm saying is wrong, but this is what I understood. They told me that the patient is in need of platelets, which can be drawn only from fresh blood. And it is not possible for them to extract it from blood that is already stored in the blood bank. After hearing that, I was really shattered, uh, I wouldn't lie, because I came all the way uh, just to donate for her. I was really heartbroken that I was not able to help her in any way and so through this video I just want to appeal to my subscribers and anyone watching this video please help me to help her it would mean the world to me as well as to her and to her parents and especially for those of you who are in Kohima if you are all positive and if you are in a healthy condition Morombra I 
I don't even know like what to say more. Let us just pray for her that she will come out strong of these physical elements and that she will be a living testimony that through her life people will be able to see the wondrous work of God.